So we're always working on our series, Aircraft of the Month, and we've kind of exhausted all the aircraft we have on display. So we started to think about going to find airplanes that were uh, unintrepid during its career, but not necessarily in our collection yet. And so we went up to the New England Air Museum at Bradley Airport up in Connecticut, and there was the F-4D Skyray. And what we learned by uh, looking at the bureau number, that's the serial number that the Navy gives airplanes, and found that it actually served on Intrepid in 1961. Skyrays were a really cool little fighter jet. It's uh, got its name Skyray probably because it looks like a manta ray. It's a flying wing type airplane, very large wing shaped like a bat's wing. It's a beautiful little airplane. It was a very fast and capable fighter in the day. Uh, we're also quite excited to know that the folks at the New England Air Museum really could not fit that airplane into their interpretive schemes anymore. And they were really happy when I suggested that we give it a new home here at Intrepid. When Eric Bain was looking at transporting it down here, it became a bit more of a challenge. And I've had a lot of experience here moving most of the heavy objects on and off. I've moved the ship, I've moved the space shuttle, the submarine, the, and the challenges of moving anything are kind of the same, right? You need to know what it is you're moving, the dimensions, the weights, where it's located, um, because it may not be able to be lifted in, a, in an area, um, and how you're gonna get it from point A to point B. I literally looked at Google Maps and said, where is this place compared to the river? Because I know that the barges go up all the way up the Connecticut River. There was an old power plant up there that's defunct. It's now a park, and that has like a landing platform right down by the river. So I called the folks at Weeks Marine that I work with, and I said, do you guys bring barges this far up the river? Um, and they said, yeah, we have all the time. One thing we found out really early on was that, you know, because you got to do a road survey, how are you going to get it down to that river? So you, you literally drive this and take measurements of wires and trees. Right now, it's in pretty good shape. I've been to visit it twice now, and it is structurally sound. The deterioration that is present is what's to be expected when you have an airplane sitting outside for three, possibly four decades. So typically what we do with our airplanes, it's not just a pretty paint job on them. We really go right down, and as you can see by the Cougar behind me, we're looking down into the skin and make sure that everything is, uh, the corrosion is gone, and we mitigate all of that, get it ready. We also treat the interior with a special solution for corrosion prevention. So it's, it's not a real simple turnaround. The crew and a very uh, great dedicated crew of volunteers, which is essential to our workers, our volunteers, uh, will spend hundreds and hundreds of hours combing over that airplane, preparing the surface and treating the inside until we're satisfied that we can safely put it here in the saltwater environment of the Hudson River for long-term display. I'm just so excited for Skyray to be coming to Intrepid. This is the first time in my nearly five years here that we've brought a new aircraft into the collection, and I can't wait to share it with our community, our supporters, our members, our volunteers, our former crew members. It just means so much. This is a huge initiative. It would not have been possible without a bequest, a really substantial bequest from the estate of Margaret F. Donovan, the largest in Intrepid's history outside of the Fisher family. Um, it means so much to us, and there's still more that we need in terms of restoration. Um, that's a long process once we actually get the aircraft here. I'm excited once it's on the flight deck. I have my three or four days of work that involved uh, moving this thing and once it's up on the flight deck we'll help uh, exhibits push it into the restoration hangar and then it's there. So we're really excited about bringing Skyray here. It, it's, it's a marvelous airplane. It's a complicated move. It's an expensive move, but we're going to get it done and we're going to have this airplane here at Intrepid summer 2021 and uh, for future generations to enjoy.